Georgia Pacific Building Products' latest innovation, Densify Liquid Barrier, is a fluid-applied, water-resistive barrier and air barrier membrane that helps create a more energy-efficient structure and can be applied to dry or damp substrates to help eliminate weather delays and accelerate drying in of new buildings. Densify Liquid Barrier can be applied to produce a seamless, durable membrane on exterior gypsum sheathing, wood sheathing, concrete masonry unit or CMU, and concrete walls. In this video, learn how to properly install Densify Liquid Barrier. Before starting any construction project, keep safety top of mind. Always remember to wear the proper personal protective equipment, PPE. To get started, you'll need the following tools to complete this installation. Sausage gun, spreading tool, wet mill gauge, utility knife, J-roller, paint roller frame, roller screen, high quality nap roller cover, extension pole, low speed drill, and mixing paddle. Additionally, ensure you have the appropriate tools to properly clean and prepare the substrate. Prior to applying Densify Liquid Barrier, properly prepare the surface and protect people, vehicles, property, plants, and all other surfaces not intended to receive Densify Liquid Barrier. Ensure substrates are free of contaminants, such as chemical residues, surface coatings, or other bond-inhibiting materials. Clean pressure-treated wood with an isopropyl alcohol wipe and allow to flash off before application. Note, concrete must be cured for a minimum seven days and masonry mortar joints must be cured for a minimum three days. Mortar joints in CMU construction must be filled and struck flush. Scrape or grind mortar or concrete drippings flush and remove efflorescence or latence. Fill voids and holes with suitable non-shrink grout or mortar, or fill small non-structural voids or cracks with Densify liquid flashing. Install exterior gypsum sheathing in accordance with GA253 and the manufacturer's installation instructions. Remove and replace damaged sheathing. When mixing Densify liquid barrier, use a low-speed drill and a mixing paddle. Mix from top to bottom and side to side for a minimum of three minutes before use. Avoid mixing air into the product and apply the material as packaged. Do not dilute or thin. Roller apply Densify liquid barrier to the exterior wall assembly using vertical strokes with a slight diagonal slant. Apply using quality quarter inch to three eighths inch nap rollers. A paintbrush can also be used for small areas. Material may be delivered directly from the bucket or fill an additional pail half full and use a bucket screen to control product coverage. Reload roller and apply to a new section partially overlapping the previous one. The edges of the roller may leave coating build up lines. Roll back over the lines with subsequent applications. For porous substrates like CMU, apply an initial light coat, allow it to skin over, and then apply an additional coat of material. Now let's take a look at treating a base of a wall. A base of a wall can be treated with Densify liquid flashing or Densify transition membrane. When using Densify liquid flashing, apply the Densify liquid flashing over the material transition. Spread the Densify liquid flashing evenly over the material transition. Apply two inches of Densify liquid flashing onto each surface at a minimum thickness of 16 wet mills. Allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over then roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. When treating a base of a wall with Densify transition membrane, apply the membrane over the material transition, covering a minimum two inches onto each surface. Next, roll the membrane with a J roller to smooth bubbles and fish mouths. Apply Densify liquid flashing over the edges and seams of the Densify transition membrane. Allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over, then roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. Now let's take a look at using Densify liquid flashing for control joints that are less than one inch. First, fill the gap with a backer rod, and then apply Densify liquid flashing over the joint. Spread the flashing over the joint, covering at least two inches of the masonry on both sides of the joint. Allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over, then roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, 
overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. Where control joints exist in masonry walls, treat the joint with Densify transition membrane or Densify liquid flashing. Let's take a look at using Densify transition membrane. Remove any loose debris or mortar and fill the gap with a backer rod. Next, cut the Densify transition membrane to length. Remove the release liner and apply the membrane to one side of the joint. Loop the membrane over the backer rod and apply to the other side of the joint, covering at least two inches of the masonry on both sides of the joint. Roll the membrane with a J roller to remove bubbles and fish mouths. Next, counter flash over the edges of the membrane using Densify liquid flashing. Finally, allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over, then roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. Now, let's take a look at inside corner installation. For inside corners, apply Densify liquid flashing over each side of the corner in a zigzag or ribbon pattern. Next, spread the Densify liquid flashing evenly over both sides of the corner. Apply a minimum of two inches of Densify liquid flashing on each side. Apply at a rate to achieve a minimum wet mill thickness of 16 mils over the corner area. Allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over. Then, roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. Outside corners are treated similarly to treating inside corners. For outside corners, apply Densify liquid flashing over each side of the corner in a zigzag or ribbon pattern. Next. Spread the Densify liquid flashing evenly over the corner. Apply a minimum of two inches of Densify liquid flashing on each side. Apply at a rate to achieve a minimum wet mill thickness of 16 mils over the corner area. Finally, allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over. Then, roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. Now, let's take a look at treating rough openings. Rough openings can be treated using Densify liquid flashing or Densify transition membrane. First, clean the surface to remove any dust, debris, or other bond inhibiting materials. Next, cut the Densify transition membrane to length and apply it to the rough opening. Roll with a J roller to remove bubbles and fish mouths. Next, counter flash membrane edges and seams with Densify liquid flashing. If treating the rough opening with Densify liquid flashing, Apply at a rate of 16 wet mills so that a pinhole void-free application is achieved. Allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over. Then roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. Next, let's take a look at material transitions. For gaps greater than a quarter inch and up to one inch, install a backer rod to form a back dam. Apply Densify liquid flashing over the material transition in a zigzag or ribbon pattern. Spread the Densify liquid flashing evenly over the material transition and two inches onto each surface until a minimum thickness of 16 wet mills is achieved. Allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over. Then roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. Now, let's take a look at floor line joints. At a floor line joint, fill the joint with a backer rod and apply Densify transition membrane to the sheathing. Do not pull the membrane tight. Loop the membrane over the backer rod, leaving enough slack in the membrane to allow for movement. Then, apply to the masonry below. Cover a minimum of two inches on both surfaces. Next, roll over the membrane with a J roller to remove bubbles or fish mouths. Counter flash over the membrane edges and seams with Densify liquid flashing. Allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over. Then roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. Finally, when treating a material transition to force field weather barrier system, use Densify liquid flashing or Densify transition membrane. When using Densify liquid flashing, first fill the gap with a backer rod. Next, apply Densify liquid flashing to the joint, covering a minimum two inches onto both adjacent surfaces. Allow the Densify liquid flashing to skin over, then roll Densify liquid barrier on the wall, overlapping approximately one inch onto the Densify liquid flashing. 
After application of Densify Liquid Barrier, go back and inspect for pinholes, voids, or damage that may have occurred during or after installation in order to ensure a pinhole void-free application. Pinholes may not appear until material has completely cured. A minimum 14 wet mils of Densify Liquid Barrier should be applied continuously so that a pinhole and void-free application is achieved. For more information on Densify Liquid Barrier, visit Densify.com. Refer to the Densify Liquid Barrier Technical Guide, available at Densify.com resources, for additional installation instructions and important information concerning recommendations and limitations for use. Failure to adhere to such recommendations and limitations may void the limited warranty provided by Georgia Pacific Gypsum for Densify Liquid Barrier.